Certainly, I think when we're talking on this issue, it's slightly different than, than what my friend, um, the majority leader, pointed out, where we have given or created a system where there's such broad authority to control every aspect of our lives. We've given our authority away. And it was said that certainly in, throughout the conversations over the, this weekend, of which there were many about this bill, that, you know, hey, the legislature can come in any time they want, pass a law to undo something that's terrible. And we just heard that, well, there's going to be public hearings and et cetera, et cetera, therefore it's got to be good. There were public hearings Friday night. Members of the public were given a minute and 15 seconds and then summarily hung up on. Is that the kind of public testimony we're going to have on these issues? It's not very transparent. We are the legislature. If we recognize and acknowledge that we make laws and we can't override anything that comes out of this council, then that's where that authority should rest. Because we are giving the council a very direct mandate to focus on only one thing. Everything else be damned. Right in the legislation. Go straight for your goal. Nothing shall get in your way. We, on the other hand, as legislators, are forced to balance all of the competing interests of the state, whether it's the environment, in addition to the business climate, in addition to the days we come into this building, whatever. We have to balance all of those things. That's our charge as legislators. Now, we don't always do that. We should. But we have much more responsibility, and we must balance all of those things. These folks have one goal, and one goal only. We're giving them that goal. We've got to have a, a, a goalkeeper. We have to have a gatekeeper. That should be us. We shouldn't be prepared to run in and rescue the state from a mistake made by an unelected council. We should put that check and balance in place prior. Thank you, Speaker.